Welcome to Bath Talks with Jim Bruce. Welcome to Bath Talks. Hi everybody, welcome to Bath Talks and uh, I'm going to get kind of serious with you today. I'm going to talk about a theory of mine and that is my theory that red vines are objectively better than Twizzlers. Red vines, superior flavor, delicious confectioner's treat, Twizzlers, dirty awful poison. Red vines makes every day better. Red vines, a delight at the movies. Twizzlers, why do you hate me and why did you buy me Twizzlers? There are people in the world who think that Twizzlers are good. Uh, those people are evil and wrong. There are people who love red vines. Those people are good, honest, honest people who pay their taxes. Honest people who will stop and pet a dog. Honest people who like kitty cats and sunshine. That's my theory about red vines. Red vines, superior. Now, that brings me to another topic, theories. So what I just told you is my theory about red vines, and I really do like red vines. If you go to the movies with me, I will uh, always buy red vines, and I'll always offer you one red vine. But I will not offer you more than one red vine, and I only do that because I'm being polite, because I will eat all of the red vines. And I do think that Twizzlers taste like crap. Um, but obviously people who like Twizzlers aren't really wrong. Uh, that's just kind of what I like. And so now what we're talking about is theory in conversation versus theory in science. I do think that there's a misunderstanding about the word theory. So when we use theory in an everyday sense, it's just a fun way to use the word. Um, we don't really mean theory. We actually mean opinion. We actually mean thought. We just use the word theory because we want to give it some more bottom. We want to give it some more heft to say, hey, listen, I have a theory that if we go out dancing tonight, we're going to have an amazing time. We got to go do that. Sounds like, ah, I got to go dancing versus, hey, do you want to go dancing? You're putting a little more kick to it. The problem is people start to confuse theory in regular everyday conversation and theory in science. So you will often hear people say stuff like, um, evolution's just a theory, right? And when they say that, what they're trying to say is, they think evolution is as much a theory as my theory about red vines. That, you know, ah, you know, you think we evolved from monkeys? I think red vines are awesome. We both have theories. But that's not actually true. Theory in science means a very different thing than a theory in everyday conversation. Uh, and by the way, we didn't evolve from monkeys. That's why there's still monkeys. We have a common ancestor with monkeys. Cool, right? Um, theory in science means somebody came up with an idea, generally based on observation, and then that person presented that idea in a paper and presented an idea on how they could test it and what it would mean if it was true. And then other scientists looked at it and said, okay, I don't believe you and I don't disbelieve you. Let's test your idea. And let's try to break it. Uh, science is filled with people trying to break things because you love to break things. Like, let's see if we can find a problem with your theory. Let's see if we can break it and see if we can find a better theory. And if it doesn't break, if it stands up to scrutiny, if it's predictive, well, then that theory eventually becomes the accepted standard for how we describe a set of phenomena. Like, uh, you know, um, the general, th general theory of relativity was the day when all of us got in a moving van and we moved to a different universe. We were no longer in the Newtonian universe. We all packed our luggage and we moved into Einstein's universe. Well, that was not an easy move to make. We all really enjoyed living in Newton's universe. It was a very good universe. Man, uh, very predictive. Isaac Newton, arguably, maybe the smartest man ever, uh, came up with, he didn't just come up with a theory, he came up with a way, a kind of math that didn't exist before because he needed the math to explain 
his spirit. How amazing is that? What a bright guy. Um, but at the end of the day, somebody was finally able to break part of Newton's universe. Somebody was able to say, well, uh, some of the things that he describes don't hold up to observation. So we moved into Einstein's universe. That's pretty cool. My uh, red vine theory, you can't break. You can't break my red vine theory because it's not really a theory. It's just me using the word to be silly. But I will tell you that if we go to the movies, it is a fact you're going to have to buy me red vines. And uh, I, I appreciate everybody who watches uh, me take a bath because um, it doesn't feel like a proper bath if somebody's not watching. Bath Talks is a Jim Bruce production. Bubbles provided by Amori Arce. If you enjoyed Bath Talks, click subscribe.